Well, actually, I know that you came here today because you thought you were going to tell your story, um, your tragedy, actually, to the world. But what you didn't know is that, come here, that, is that you are a recipient of the Faith in Action Pay It Forward. And what you have here is, is Chef Sam Brown. He is the president of the American Culinary Federation. Okay. And him and his constituents, they're going to give you their time, their talent, and their taste buds to talk to you about your strawberries because you told me that you wanted to take your strawberries to another level. I know. Oh so, okay. so, <laughs> Oh, and nice to meet you, by the way. Yes, nice to meet you, too. I'm speechless. I'm speechless. Are you speechless? I'm speechless. <laughs> okay, so what we're going to do is uh, Chef X is going to introduce, because you don't know who these people really are, he's going to introduce to you who they are okay. and tell you what they do, mm -hmm. and then you're actually going to sit in front of them, and they are actually going to give you business advice about Dexy Berries. Okay. Nice to meet you. We've heard about your story. Uh, I'm Chef Sam Brown, and I'm the president of the Greater Indianapolis Chapter of the American Culinary Federation, okay. so that's the local chefs association here in mm -hmm. Indianapolis. And I have two chefs with me, and he's been on the Food Network several times, as well as the Lifetime Channel. And also I have Chef Suzanne Greer, who's our chapter secretary, and she's the 2014 Pastry Chef of the Year for the city of Indianapolis. Mm -hmm. This is called a foot, mm -hmm. when it oozes. Mm -hmm. That's product lost. Mm -hmm. So that's money you're giving away versus mm -hmm. money you're putting in your pocket. Okay. So when you, when you let them drizzle, and you rub it against the edge, mm -hmm. that's gonna put more money in your pocket versus money lost. Okay. This one's a lot cleaner. Yeah, that's a lot cleaner. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I see some. Yeah, I made red velvet ones. Oh. I like this one, I see. So, <laughs> right now, how does, how do people come in contact with you? How do you merchandise or market yourself? So far, the promotion has been Instagram and Facebook, which took me far. They get in contact with me through email, text message, and phone call. Suzanne, you just was a participant in the Pay It For for Miss Bianca. Tell the viewers, how did that make you feel, you know, spending your time and attention and your palate to be able to help Bianca? I think it's always exciting to see new ideas and you know so many people stay at home and they watch these shows and think oh I can do that too I can be a chef but there's so much more that goes into it and by sitting with her and discussing um, different uh, thought processes maybe ways that she needs to go to secure her business is a wonderful way to pay it forward because these are things people don't know unless they get told. Chef Mike Terry what does this actually I can tell you like the strawberries because you're now wearing the I strawberries. Know. They were but juicy. They were juicy. Okay, <laughs> so tell our viewers what the CMSA pastry instructor, what is the CMSA? What's that? CMSA is Certified Master Sugar Artist, and I won that title about eight years ago, nine years ago, and I was one of 13 in the world. Wow, you have over 30 years of experience? Pretty close, but that's kind of like telling my age. I was going to I mean, I don't want to do that. Might want to do that. Okay, so real quick, tell our viewers, what did you really truly think about Dexa Berries? I thought they were awesome. Anka, when you arrived, actually we just got the back of your head, and I know you were surprised that you thought you were coming to tell everybody about your tri your tragedy, mm -hmm. but you actually came here for a sweet, sweet triumph. Tell me how you really felt when you walked in, because you're non expressive. So that? I didn't know how you really <laughs> felt. Uh, and then just tell the viewers a little bit about how you felt and just the, the experience that you just had about Dexy Berries. Well, for, no. well, for one, I had to hide, I did hide my expression. Apologies, I guess. I was super surprised. I walked in and all I seen was chef hats. And I just was totally shocked and drawn back. And I felt like she set me up. But we were good. Um, overall, when um, he began to explain himself, I was just automatically thinking that's a blessing. I was overwhelmed. Um, you almost brought tears to my eyes, but we helped them back. Uh, just automatically just real enlightened and encouraged. That was very encouraging. I love constructive criticism. I'm, I'm not against it at all, and I take it in. I take in every single thing that I can, and I run with it. And like they said, it's not an easy job at all. And sometimes you do feel like you underpaid yourself 
but that's just the ropes that you learn as you're getting started. And I was very surprised. Very you know, surprised. I'm, I'm telling you right now, viewers at home, if you have not tried these Dexy berries, <laughs> Lord am I. Uh, ooh, mm, mm. <laughs> <laughs> the bomb.com. Toodles.